following video is not made for kids. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello to my subscribers. This is the TF Bangi coming to you with my latest Transformers live stream video. I hope it will be a success. S and as the title of the video states, this is just a quick haul video and a brief hangout if anyone who's still awake. Big and like me is suffering from insomnia. Please feel free to come on by and join me tonight as we talk about my favorite subject, Transformers. So it's been a while since I did my previous video. Video, I haven't been doing videos as often as I promised I would, and I sincerely apologize for doing that. Uh, the main reason I haven't been doing too many videos lately is because I got a new job uh, that's uh, very uh, mind time consuming and takes away from the time I. I might usually I used to be able to spend and making video review views on the Transformers figures I purchased, so I apologize for not being able to do that. But anyway, hey, as as the title of the video said, as I bought some Transformers figures recently, and it was at a time when I told myself that there weren't any other Transformers to buy and collect because I basically in my last video stated that I was uh. Since I had gotten all the Transformers figures that I wanted to collect for the uh, Transformers uh, Kingdom line and the Transformers Studio Series 86 line, I, there weren't any other Transformers to collect. Uh, Wildfire Productions, JJ Prime, I Ninja Bill, hello and welcome. Now, if any of you guys want to join me in the video, uh, please feel free to do so. That's why I put the word hangout in the video. Please come and hang out with me tonight. Alright, I get tired hearing my own voice babbling on and on. And so, if any of you guys want to talk with me for however brief a time, I am the link is right there in the live stream chat. And so, if you guys want to come by and join me, uh, please do so. So, I look forward to uh, talking with you guys about, about Transformers. So, whether or not anyone, any of you, anyone actually join, joins me, that's their opinion. But I've given them the option of doing that by uh, leaving the link into the live stream video in the chat add if anyone wants to join in so first up for my first transform for the first transformers action figure that i uh got uh recently i actually got it in today and i'm excited to have it in hand and this is a transformers action figure that i originally was going to pass on and i had no plans at all on adding this transformers figure to my collection action and the main reason I got this Transformers figure was because the website that was selling it was offering it at 50% off, half the original price that it was going for. And so I figured for the size of Transformers figure that it is, and it's a brand new character that I don't have any action figures of, I figured for half, for just half the original price, what's the harm in getting it and adding it to my collection? So without further delay, everyone, here he is, the one of the Transformers action figures I had. No plans originally on getting it all. Well, until I saw the reduced price tag that he was being sold for. It is the Transformers X-Men X-Men collaborative crossover figure named Ultimate Expanse. So yes, I noticed uh, earlier this week on Target's website, Target was offering Ultimate Expanse for just half of his original price tag. He was originally retailing for $65, and this week, Target decided to put him on sale 50% off, and he was going for just $32.50. And I figure, for the size of Transformers action figure that he is, $32.50 seems like a decent price. I used to get this thing and add it to my collection. And now that I'm looking at him and have him in hand, I'm really digging the shade of blue plastic used on Ultimate Expanse. Ants and I saw on the Transformers Wikipedia that media that uh, a nickname that's already been created for him at least by the guys who uh, run the transformers wikipedia page is uh leaving off the word ultimate and just calling him expanse and i think that name i think that shortened name works for him as well also what this guy is he's based on the stealth fighter jet used by the marvel comic book superhero hero team known as the x-men he is a retool of studio series series revenge of the fallen Jetfire. Uh, I do not have that mold, so this is so unlike the other uh, collaborative Transformers figures that I that I've added to my collection, which are uh, 
Ectotron from the Ghostbusters, and Gigawatt from Back to the Future. I do not have the uh, Transformers action figure that Ultimate Expanse is retooled from. Um, so this is my first introduction to this mold. Old, so I'm really looking forward to transforming it. Uh, I saw, a, I've seen a couple of reviews of people who decided to get Ultimate Expanse when he first came out, and it is a bit of a pain transforming him. But then again, and uh, from what I've heard, uh, heard it was also a pain transforming Studio Series Revenge of the Fallen Jetfire. So I will be sure to proceed with caution when I finally get this guy out of his box. Uh, again, because I said, as I said a moment ago, oh, in part due to my new job. Uh, but uh, and the amount of time it take, takes to get through it, I don't know if I'll be actually be able to get around to doing reviews of every single Transformers action figure that I purchase, but if I do decide to review Ultimate Expanse, uh, chances are he will already be out of his box, but box if I decide to get a review of him. And, okay, so I've been babbling on so much I didn't realize that there were people wanting to join in, so everyone, welcome Ninja Bill Reviews and JJ Prime. Hi, hello! hello. 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 Yeah, why not get him for 50% off? Nice. Yeah, and I saw someone did a size comparison. Ultimate Expanse is a few centimeters taller than Studio Series 86 Grimlock. So this wow. guy is a traditionally... So yeah, this guy is taller than Studio Series Grimlock. So yeah, he is an old school sized leader class Transformers figure. That's awesome. <laughs> So I figured for $32.50, that was worth it, getting a Transformers figure that figure that size. That's awesome. Uh, oh, that's the styling. Nice. You have Earthrise Commander class styling. I love that figure so much. But mine uh, has I a weird, here. but mine is weird. It look, it, it, it's got this weird divot. I'm not sure my camera was picking up. Look at that divot right there. The oh, jeez. Oh, man. Oh, I, don't, I, don't know what, I don't know what happened, but it's got this weird, weird, like, chunk taken out there. You can see it in the light. Look at that. Right there. Oh, oh that's a little bit of a yeah. dent right there. Oh, man. Yeah. I don't know what it is. It, it's. <laughs> no. Like I said, I'm, I'm here under the weather. Oh, is that Studio Series Jetfire, JJ Prime? Yeah, that's the uh, Studio Series Leader Class Jetfire with the uh, DNA design kit on it. So, oh, nice. So you can see with the mm -hmm. more fins right here for the jet yeah. mode. I never, got, I never got that figure because I still have the original 2009 Leader Class Revenge of the Fallen Jetfire figure. Uh, I mean, so I this, this, one, this one is actually way better than that original 2009 this uh, one is way way better so yeah i think you should you should purchase this if you can <laughs> so yeah oh yeah yeah because i got this, a try on a few weeks ago as well that's a nice gift though to you thing i've been thinking about getting that expense uh, i've been thinking yeah. about it too i seriously want to get that actually uh, I, I, yeah, so. I look at maybe five reviews now, and 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 the more I look at them, the more I um, I, I say to myself, yeah, I need that. <laughs> yeah, my camera isn't doing it any justice. This is a very fantastic shade of blue plastic that they used on him. I mean, look at that shade of blue. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of another Transformers character that has this same shade of blue plastic. The only one that comes to mind is uh, Generation Select's uh, Grease Pit. Nightbeat. Generation Select Nightbeat. Generations Nightbeat. Um, actually, this is a much no, richer, actually, yeah, yeah, richer actually darker, than that. Yeah. Well, what about, uh, um, no, you know what that blue reminds me of? Uh, um, of, uh, was it, uh, Energon, uh, uh, Sideways, that blue car? That green, oh, Energon that Prowl? Mode. Huh? Energon Prowl or Sideswipe, Armada no, Sideswipe? No, 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 Energon, uh, Sideways, what, or Sideswipe, yeah, wasn't he a blue car? Had that little minicon motorcycle that stored inside of him? Yeah, that was Armada Sideswipe. 
Yeah, Armada side's white. It has the same blue almost, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a very rich shade of blue. It's uh actually, you know, now that I'm looking at it, it's uh it's almost the same shade of blue that was used on uh uh oh I forgot the name. Oh I forgot. I forgot and well now I just How dare you out of my mind. Well, tear up your Kia fan card. You're done. You're done. <laughs> uh, no. I, I got, I got uh, Alpha Trion. You know what? I actually like this. So I got this. And I like this toy. Yes, it's a brick. But you know what? It's a better representation than the Titan Return version. Oh. oh. Uh, I'm, hoping, I'm hoping that they R.E.D. line. Yeah, I, I, I watched your review for it. Uh -huh. um, I'm hoping that uh, R.E.D. gives us a, an Alpha Trion because he doesn't need to transform. That's the thing. Alpha Trion never had an alt mode. In the no, I know. I know. And, that's, and, that's, and that's what I say every time they do a... They do Every time Hasbro releases a non-transforming Action Master type line of Transformers figures, I always find myself say. I almost I always find myself asking the question, where is Alpha Trion? I mean Alpha yeah. Trion is the perf it should be the poster Transformers character for the action masters because he never had an alt mode in the G one series. Yeah, and he would be perfect for the R E D line. Perfect. Exactly. I I s I'm still waiting for Hasbro and Dakar Tomi to announce that Alpha Trion's going to be released in the Transformers Red series. If he is if he does get released, he's that would be the first Red Series figure I've Eager, I'd ever get. I want the RC, and I would definitely buy that. And uh, <clears throat> Devian's De De uh, Miles Mayhem, you are right, and uh, welcome. Uh, Devlin Miles Mayhem, hello. Dragonfly Wildfire Productions. Sorry if I haven't said hello to you guys or guys earlier. Yeah, exactly. Um, I have the Titans Return version of this guy, but you know, it just it's not the same. This guy actually looks like a Trion. Exactly. You know, he looks more like Generation One Alpha Trion. Hulkier, Trion. more hulkish Alpha Trion, but you know what? Yeah. It works. It works. Exactly. Yes, it's a brick. I mean, really, that's mm -hmm. pretty much the articulation there in the legs. I mean, yeah. it's, it's, yeah. it, it, this it's is this, kind of. If, if this ahead. could fold back more, if these could fold back more on a joint and sort of come together, yeah. that would be great. That would have made this toy even better. Yeah. You know what I wish they would have done? Is put an additional like uh like right here where they lock in place. I wish they would have yeah. put a rotating joint so they'd angle outward. You know, they the would just fold too. it down. They, I was thinking more like his cape. If these if these folded in more, oh yeah, like make him double yeah, in, more like a cape, more, yeah. look more like, like his cape. You know, exactly. I, yeah. That would be now, I don't know. yeah. Now I don't know how you guys are gonna feel about what I'm about to say. But I actually, uh, a Cyberverse Alpha Trion being somewhat of a brick with his only real articulated joints being the joints in his elbows and his knees. Mm -hmm. The reason I actually enjoy that is because I like to joke that because he's an old man, he has <laughs> his joints stiffened from Cybertronian arthritis. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <coughs> that works. So yeah, that's what... Yeah, so that's why I actually enjoy the fact that Alpha Trion is somewhat of a brick because as, uh, in his old age, he doesn't move as well as he did when he was younger. Okay, I know that's kind of a mean-spirited joke to make, but I mean, come on, let's face it. Alpha Trion, Alpha Trion, he, he's not that young. I mean, how many young men do you know that have a beard like this? Oh, we lost Ninja Bill. It says his device is not connected. Oh no. That's not right. Yeah. But yeah, that's one but yeah, that's why I actually like the uh, limited articulation that Cyberverse Alpha Trion has. Yeah. Yeah. I mean I never got that figure. I only have like uh the Power of the Primes Alpha Trion and the Power of the Primes uh, no, Titans Return Alpha Trion. Those are the only Alpha Trions I have in my collection. So yeah, so did I. Yeah, so did I, JJ Prime, until I got the Cyberverse version. And I'm gonna say this right now: after I got him in hand and started looking at him for a while, he actually grew on me, and I do not regret getting 
Cyberverse Alpha Trion and adding him to my collection. Uh, yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, it, I mean, the design looks great. I mean, he looks great in robot mode, but the the the, the engineering is just uh, I don't know, I don't know. It, I know the engineering. You know what? It honestly makes him feel like a Generation Two figure, as far as the amount of articulation that he has. Yeah, I'm I was just telling. You, I don't know if you heard me, but I was just telling JJ Prime that, to me, Cyberverse off a of Tryon for the amount of articulation that he has, as limited as it is, he actually feels like a Generation Two Transformers figure to me. Yeah, yeah. No, I totally get that. I totally get that. Um, I, I like the figure. I do. I, I really, really do. Um, I never found it myself, so I'm grateful ACP sent it to me. And I'm going to be having a live show, hopefully, if I feel better tomorrow night. And uh, I sent the link to you in Discord. Uh, I hope you feel better. I hope you feel better, uh, Ninja Bill. Oh, oh, yeah, I yeah. oh, I do too. Yeah. Because <laughs> I no, feel I like a crud. Oh, yeah. I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah, but me yeah. too, man. Yeah, so uh, now I remember. Uh, the shade of blue plastic that's used here on Ultimate Expanse, it's almost like the same shade of blue plastic that was used on Earthrise Smokescreen. His blue parts. It almost oh, it yeah. almost looks like it almost looks like the same shade of blue that was used on the uh, tracks the reveal the shield version we got way back in 2011. I mean it's a very rich shade of blue. Nice. Yeah. Now, I don't know how well you got how knowledgeable you guys are on Marvel superheroes. I'm not that knowledgeable, but from other video reviews I saw, uh Expanse, his physical appearance is actually based on three, at least three characters from the X Men comic books. Looks, he's got uh, Cyclops's uh, visor on his face, Ace, and then uh, one of his weapons, the uh, sword weapon on his hand, it's based off of a, a female X Men character named Psylocke. Psylocke. Yeah, and then he's got uh, Wolverine's uh, means, uh, adamantium claws on one hand, so yes. Yeah, uh, Expanse the, is a mashup of several members of the X Men rolled into one robot. Yeah, and, and the, the colors are sort of reminiscent of their '90s uniforms. Yep. Yeah, exactly, and that's the same thing, and that's what they were going for, even with the mm -hmm. box. Yep. The style of the packaging, because unlike Ectotron and Gigawatt, who were based off who had uh, Generation One Transformers packaging, uh, Expanse actually has the uh, uh, style of box that the X Men figures released in the '90s had. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I will say this, because Expanse is such a tall figure, I joked to myself when I after I ordered him that he has a, he's as tall as Colossus compared to the other Autobots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a fun figure. Um, yeah. I keep yeah. looking at it more and more, and I, I want it more and more, but <laughs> who knows? Who knows? Yeah, like I said, right yeah. now, at, at least right now, he's going. He's fifty percent off on Target's website. He's going for just thirty-two dollars fifty cents, and that's what motivated me to uh, finally get him. Yeah, I, I had Omega and Astro Train on the way. I've got the uh, mm -hmm. Galvatron pre-ordered. I did have Omega and Astro Train on the way, but yeah. I had to cancel them unfortunately because problems with my bank right now. So I had to cancel yeah. them. It's sad face, but it happens, you know. Life gets in the way sometimes of your collecting habits. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, Devil on Miles Mayhem, he says that Cyberverse Alpha Trion definitely needs some muscle cream to get his joints working again. <laughs> yes, yes, he does. Yes, he is. Yeah, he's he's burly. I mean, that he, he there's no doubt about it. This is one burly Alpha Trion. He's exactly. He, he's all muscle. I mean, look at him. <laughs> yeah. Shoulder pads. And yeah, yeah, he's. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's a joke. That some, that's a joke that some Transformers collectors said about the Titans Return version back when it was released. That they basically turned off a Trion into a Master Roshi. Yeah, yeah. You know, an old man who's like super muscular and possesses a lot of power. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, kind of, you know, kind of like Yoda. The, the Yoda, he's an old man, but at the same time, you do not want to get into a fight with him because he'll blow you away before you even get close to him. If you want to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Grimlock, nice. Uh, yeah. Weird Wolf. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. I, I've still yet to figure out why this chest panel opens. 
it's like not I really said, a nod, it's not really a nod to the original toy though because there's nothing there's no you know there's no molded detail there to support that so no, i i don't not. get why this this chest panel opens i i have no idea why it opens it, i think the main it's not part of the transformation yeah. it, it, it it's it's there for no apparent yeah. reason <laughs> uh, the only educated guess i can think of ninja bill is that uh, when weird wolf is transformed in his wolf mode if you want to get his titan master out and the other and the other door on his back you know if it gets stuck I, I think that's like an emergency door to get his headmaster out you know so like you have two options of mm. getting the headmaster out of his stomach that's one thing maybe, i know maybe with maybe i i have no idea yeah i mean that's the only that's guess a good I oh yeah that's I, oh yeah that's nice See, that's I the always, alpha try on that's the alpha try on of the movies you know Exactly. Instead of Alpha Trion, they made Jetfire the old, the old, you know, old codger. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I love the uh, the DNA design There's, kit. Look, you know, he's got uh, the beard. He's got that sort of the old man yeah. attitude. Yeah, I mean, yeah. They, they couldn't use Alpha Trion, so they made Jetfire the old guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and you can see here the DNA design kit actually gives him some new hands, some new oh, nice. hands, and you can actually hold the cane pretty. Well, and the hold the axe properly, and that oh, is nice. awesome. And give him a new backpack with that cool oh, it's backpack. Oh, accurate too. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's pretty cool. I, I I'm glad I picked up the DNA design kit for this set. So that's pretty mm -hmm. cool. Now I do have one other Transformers figure to show off for you guys. I shared this with Autocorrect Primer already, but I wanted to share it with all of you. I found myself having just enough money a few weeks ago that I was able to get. A Transformers action figure that I never thought I was going to own. I know I already said that about Ultimate Expanse, but I willingly passed on Ultimate Expanse originally. But this figure in the back of my mind, I secretly wanted to own it one day, and I finally added it to my collection. Everyone, without further delay, I give you Generation Selects God Neptune. Whoa! Holy! <laughs> That was a figure I could easily pass on. I, I just don't need it in my class. I would much rather have something else. I want like, the C-Cons. I really want the C-Cons, but the original color scheme for Piranha Con, not these ones. I really want the select C-Cons. Like, I so want them. Like, so bad. No, I feel you there. I feel you there. I do. I, do. I feel you on that one. Yeah, yeah so did I. I wanted to get Piranha Con so bad, but when I saw the price he, I they were going for, and then I compared it to the price that God Neptune was going for on Amazon. I was like, I have to go with the version that's more financially sound for me. So I went with God Neptune just to have at least one version of the Seacons. Wow. And, and honestly, they aren't that bad when you look at them in their box, in the box. Like that. I mean, just look. But yeah, I do not regret getting this set and adding it to my collection. So I definitely do want to do a video review of God Neptune even someday soon. Hopefully I someday. Don't blame, I don't blame it. I mean, it looks, it's just not something I, I'm interested in, but it, it's mm -hmm. a great figure nonetheless. Oh, it is. Yeah, it's just and not, it's just like there are, there are just some some toys from the the Earthrise line. I, I I'm just not. I'm just like yeah. I can skip them. I don't need them. I wanted that Astro Train and Omega though. <laughs> I need Inferno too. And that tracks that's coming out, man. I pre-ordered him too. Oh, I want that tracks. I want that tracks oh, yeah. bad. Oh yeah, Kingdom tracks. So which? So that's a question I I want to ask you guys. Which Kingdom figures from Wave Three are you most excited for? I admit, Crash. I'm most excited for Galvatron and the Ark. Um, um, I'm excited for I'm I'm excited for Kingdom Commander class Rodimus Prime, Leader class Galvatron, the Titan class Ark. I'm excited for Rhinox. You're excited Lux for all Rhinox. of it, aren't you? I'm, <laughs> I'm excited for it. everything. I'm excited for all of it. <laughs> That's right. There you go. Just be honest. You are you are you are excited for all of it. No, um, I didn't pre-order the Ark, but I should. I probably should. Once I get my bank information corrected, I probably will. Um, I've got Trax and Galvatron pre-ordered. Um, 
and, and, and here's the thing. I hear a lot of people complaining about the arc, this or that, or just blah, 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 blah. And my, my one sentence to these people who complain about it is, okay, show me a better alternative. Exactly. Which is better than what we're getting with Kingdom. There isn't none. Exactly. There is no alternative. Exactly. There is no this alternative. Is only the party good. isn't making one. No. There's no party arcs. There are, there, there's, there's a Cyberverse one, and there's some the Titanium one, and there was the uh, Dark of the Moon one. That's it. I have that version. There's never been an unofficial arc, so no. there is no better alternative. So I always say to people, show me a better alternative then. Exactly. It, it doesn't exist. No. <laughs> yeah. The only arc, the only official arc we're going to get is the Titan class arc. That's it. No, we've so had exactly. the others that I mentioned as well. We've had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but yeah. a proper arc that actually transforms. Oh, into a robot? Yeah. I don't think yeah, they're going to. Yeah. I don't think we're going to get animated Omega Supreme anytime in the near future. No. Yeah, no, I don't think so. But I but I've heard rumors that we will be getting uh, new molds for the Transformers Prime characters in the future. Mm -hmm. If that happens, I will be very very excited for it for that because we would be we could be looking at Studio Series Transformers Prime Predacons Rising stuff in the future. Who knows? Mm -hmm. Because they need to happen. Predacons mm -hmm. Rising figures they need to happen in the, in oh, the Studio yeah. Series line. Like mm -hmm. yeah, clearly. Uh -huh. Debian's and Trax, Galvatron, Rodimus is most definitely. The Ark will follow these figs. That's my late summer buy list. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I, the more I look at that Rodimus, the more I tell myself I don't need it, but I do need it. <laughs> you guys understand. We're all collectors. I here. mean, we, we understand. He, he, he's way better than, yeah. than the every original Power of the Prime. Yeah. I know. Every, every time they review a Transformers character, I think of that episode of SpongeBob. Where he goes, I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. And then he at the end he goes, I need it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for the, yeah. Yeah. If you don't remember, that was the episode when SpongeBob first met Sandy, and he was suffocating because he didn't have any water to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've yeah. never seen the series, but yeah, it sounds like fun and sounds. It's oh yeah, exactly that's one clip. Of, that's one clip of SpongeBob that will make get you laughing because, <laughs> like, you can make the argument that even though he's technically fighting for air, it's like trying to fight off an addiction. <laughs> and no matter yeah. how much you try to fight it, it ultimately pulls you back in. <laughs> yep, <laughs> that's right. But I, I I am looking forward to reviewing that Skylinks, you know, and. I, oh, oh man. man, my wing joints, my wing joints are so bad, so mm. bad. Mm. Oh, they're so bad. They can't hold up themselves at all. What wing, tapping, what, what wing joints, sorry? The On Skylinks. On Skylinks, uh-oh. Yeah, the, they're so bad. They're so bad. They, they can't hold themselves up even in shuttle mode unless they're tabbed in. They, they, just, they just droop. <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> Yeah, but everything else is nice and solid on it. I love the colors. I think it could do it with a bit more color, but that's just me being by uh, nitpicking. Um, and that divot, I, I, I don't know what happened. It, a factory defect or something in the mold, I don't know. But it's there. But, you know, what are you going to do? I, 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 I'm not going to order another one just because this was in damage. Because Hasbro has this thing of, okay, well, we'll send you something of equal value rather than the actual toy no no thank you Un <laughs> unlike, unlike your skylings uh my my uh my, my wings are nice and tight so i got no problem with the wings nice yeah same with mine and also dragonfly he says his wings are nice and tight oh you lucky devils you you lucky mm -hmm. devils mine mine not so much <laughs> you know although i will, although i do have one qualm with my skylinks um i can't pull him out right away right now because he's out of arm's reach but my copy of Skylinks, even though I've only transformed him a couple of times in shuttle mode, I don't know how well I can do it with my hands, his lower jaw is starting to sag. So he doesn't have a closed nose cone section when he's in shuttle mode. Oh, oh, I get you, I get you. Yeah. yeah. I get you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the lower so, jaw. The lower jaw here. Yeah. Are you sure you're tabbing tabbing it in properly because it tabs in right underneath too uh, let me unlock him here 
Yeah, I yeah, I don't know what my mind's doing that. Mm -hmm. uh, Devlin Miles May Mayhem says his copy of Skylinks is all good. It, it, you got to make sure to tab it in properly because it tabs in right here too. Ah, uh, okay, There's yeah. tabs yeah. right there, and that helps that jaw stay up level. Mm -hmm. So you got to make sure to tab it in, in right there. Okay, it'll, yeah. It'll, yeah, because when so you pull it out, yeah, when you pull it out, you'll see, whoops, if I can get it on my camera, you'll see those tabs, and they okay. have to tab into this section. If you don't got them tabbed in all the way, the that jaw will droop. You got to make sure you tab it in all the way. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank Anti you. Anti-hash burn, sure. Angel. They give you free stuff. You don't have to give your Skylinks back. I had a problem with Studio Series Grimlock, and they sent me a Commander class jet fire. Oh, oh congrats, yeah. Dragonfly. Nice. Mm -hmm. nice. The worst QC issue I ever had was way back in 2018, I ordered Hat Takara Tomi's uh, Deluxe Class Nightbird figure. The version mm -hmm. that we painted in a retool of the 2014 Generations RC. Yeah. That was before we got Nightbird in the Selects line. And when I got my first copy of Takara's Nightbird, her head was missing. Oh, they did not I put the head that. on. Oh, oh my so I got a headless Nightbird. Oh, I could not believe oh, it when I opened her up and looked at her. Oh, Primus. He's, mm -hmm. She's headless. Exactly. Headless, that was the worst QC issue I've ever had on a Transformers figure to this day. If you remember, if you remember watching uh, uh, MGO's review of the last night leader class, Dragonstorm. Uh, yeah, his head was missing too. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I can confirm that MGO's experience was not a unique one. There are a handful of headless Transformers that get shipped out to the into the world. That's right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, but luckily, when well, the moment I found, I saw that her head was missing, missing. Uh, I contacted uh, Takara Tomi, and they sent me a replacement copy. And within two days, I got a replacement copy nice. that was out of the head and was fully complete. Nice. Uh, Dragonfly well, says that's not the way to get ahead in life. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, I, I agree. Didn't. I, I'm getting really tired. Thank you for letting me join. But I oh, have got, I've got to get some sleep. I, I, I'm just not I'll feeling it. Yeah. <laughs> Hope you have a good evening. JJ, evening. you have a great night. Better. Or day, actually, for you, JJ. And TFV, Fan Geek, you have a great night. Everyone in chat, man, make sure to you know check out my channel. i got some reviews coming up. Uh, make sure if it, it, if you got the means to do so, please join my Patreon. Uh, and... Uh, you know, better yeah. everything else, you know, be good to each other. Peace. Yeah. And for joining on us and for joining us tonight, Ninja Bill, I promise I will leave a link down in the video description to your channel so people who haven't already subscribed uh, can check out your channel and see the amazing content you put out. Thank you. I've got uh, I've got a few things. i got a live show tomorrow night. I sent you the link for that. Um, JJ, I couldn't find you on my Discord. Otherwise, I might have sent you a link too. But, you know, if, if you see me on there, if you see see me on tomorrow night, you know, hey, I'll send you a link or something, or hit me up on Discord. Mm -hmm. Okay, buddy. Yeah. Well, All right. Peace out, Dragonfly, Devion, uh, Wildfire. Everybody, have a great night. I'm to, I gotta go crash. Good night, Ninja Bill. All right. See you, Ninja Bill. Hold on. I'm getting a new screwdriver. <laughs> oh sure. Well, while J until JJ Prime comes back, I admit that I've got, even though I've gotten every single Kingdom figure, I'm still uncertain if I'm going to actually get around to doing reviews of all of them. Oh, uh, Dragonfly says, hey, it turns out he is on Discord. He just forgot that he had it. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. I didn't know he had a Discord, too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Apparently he does. You learn something new every day. <laughs> yes, that is true. Like I learned, I found out the hard way today. There, it, you do, you can find spiders inside your garbage can. So I went out to put my garbage can out at the end of my driveway, and ah. I saw something that looked like a pebble fall off the can. It bounced off my leg and then hit the ground, and I didn't think nothing of it. But then about an hour later, all of a sudden, I had this violent itch on my leg and I looked where it was itching most 
and it was right at the spot where that pebble hit my leg and right there on the spot was a spider bite so it wasn't a pebble it was a spider that jumped off my garbage can and bounced off my leg wow today and the moment it bounced off my leg the spider bit me hit me in the split second that it hit me before it jumped off again ouch yeah it, that, it, 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 yeah that's not pretty that's no, not pretty no. at all uh -uh. I've never been bitten by a spider before. You're not missing why. anything, trust me. Yeah. I've been bitten several times in my life and it and it is never pretty. Like even the spiders that aren't that venomous. The reason why is because there's no cure for a spider bite. If you get bitten by a spider, you just have to wait for it to heal itself. There's like no magical vaccine or medicine you can take that'll make it instantly go away. What, what was it? Uh, was it uh, poisonous? The bite. Every spider bite is poisonous. It's just some spider venom is not as toxic as others. Ah. Okay. Like the most common spiders we get at my house are the teeny tiny little uh, jumping spiders, and getting bitten by one of them, it's almost like getting bitten by a flea. But instead of the bite just itching. It itches, but if you try to scratch it, it feels painful. The touch. Ouch. Yeah. That's painful. But, yeah, but normally if you do something like spit on it or spit on it or put a put a something on on it to at least stop the itching, then it then the itching uh, makes it easier to bear until it finally disappears. Usually, it takes a few days to a week. For most bites to disappear and be fully healed. Ah, okay. Yeah, and sometimes I don't know how I don't know if this has happened to anyone else, but sometimes when I get bitten by a spider, sometimes the bite will end up turning into a nasty pimple. Oh. Okay. Yeah, because that's how my body heals the bite by turning it into a pimple. Wow. Okay. Uh, right. Uh, Devil in Miles Mayhem is asking. Asking if either of us are going to get the Titan class Black Zarek figure. Uh, he says that he's. Uh, for me, no, because I don't have Black Maruchi. So if I don't have Black Maruchi, then I will not get the mm -hmm. uh, the thing. So I do yeah. have Black Maruchi. I got him just to have him standing besides Fast Track. So I'm undecided if I'm going to actually get it, uh, Black Zarek or not. I mean, if I mean Black Ritchie is uh, the partner for, uh, uh, you know, Black Zarek. Yeah. Oh, a dragonfly wants to join. Dragonfly, hey. welcome. Hey, what up, dragonfly? Hi there. I was able to pull this out of the mold. A dragonfly wants to join. Dragonfly, welcome. You have to you have to turn off Drag YouTube, Dragonfly. You, you have to mute you have to mute YouTube. You got an echo. You have to you have to turn off YouTube, Dragonfly. Yeah, I'm working on it. There we go. Ah, oh, perfect. I I was we working on it. <laughs> Had oh, stuff yeah. on my fingers. Oh yeah. Prying these out of the. The molds. Oh, sweet. There's, yeah, there's so Dragonfly was doing... Do that finally. Yeah, so for those of you guys unaware, Dragonfly was live streaming on his own channel earlier, and he's been making some uh, uh, weapons and parts parts on, on his own to uh, upgrade his Transformers. Well, these and are really... the Dennis, so... Oh, yeah. Those are for Gopbot. I'm transforming this guy. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so, uh. Yeah. Put a flash on this one, but. Get this back in here. Not really quite open. This Cheetor's duck gun. Oh, sweet. I 
I'm actually perfectly fine with the uh, you know the, the tail whip weapon for Cheetor. Mm. So I don't really need the gut gun because it's just it's just disgusting and I don't want to uh, handle it. So yeah. Yeah, I, I think it just bugged me because uh, that Cheetor never had the tail whip. It was Transmetal Cheetor that had the tail whip. I know. I know, and both figures of Cheat, both the Lux Quest figures of Cheetor that we got during the last two decades, the uh, Universe Classics version that was released in 2009, and now the Kingdom version, version, they decided to turn Cheetor's tail into a club weapon, yet he used a laser gun throughout the Beast Wars series. I don't understand the logic in doing that. Yeah, it confused me too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a few bubbles I gotta fill on these, and then uh, put them back in the mold, and let them harden up. But then they'll be good. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. For some reason, I cut like the last six minutes off my stream. Something happened. Uh, I don't know what the hell happened to my stream? Exactly. Yeah, that's that's the beauty of a live stream. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I just put my kit on my uh, uh my Studio Series Devastator. Mm. Ah, okay. Nice. Yeah, the only Devastator figure I have is the Combiner Wars version, but I'm fine with that because I got one of the upgrade kits for him. So I want to get the upgrade, kit, but you can't find it anywhere. Mm -mm. No, both times when it was released, the originally in the Combiner Wars line, and then. The reissue we got a few months ago, they sold out fast. Yeah, wow. I mean, I got the Unite Warriors one, which is slightly better than the Combiner Wars one. Mm -hmm. but Devastators, uh, one is, uh, the McMaster doesn't look yeah. quite right to me. So I, I yeah, wish because, I could get yeah, it that. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, because McMaster is a different style of cement mixing truck where the cab is at the uh base of the cement barrel instead of being in front of it yeah mm -hmm. yeah i got the uh, upgrade kit that was released by a uh, perfect effect it was known as a uh, pc-06 and they gave mixmaster a g1 style cab section yeah. and one of the reasons that, and one thing i'm glad about it is that it made the cab section is just as wide as scrapper's uh epper's uh bucket so when, yeah. when we combine them into Devastator's uh, robot mode, he with that upgrade kit, Devastator has equal sized feet feet at, at okay. the bottom of his legs with that upgrade kit from Perfect Effect. I've been on the fence about ordering something. Um, they, they're waiting for another restock. It's uh, Crazy Devi uh, uh, Studio Series Devastator neck add on. It adds on to the back part of the neck. Oh, yeah. Have you seen that? I have not because I haven't really been following on too much uh, news about the Studio Series line. I didn't start collecting the Studio Series line I mean, until uh, this year, actually, I uh, when I got uh, Studio Series uh, Bumblebee movie uh, Blitzwing. And that's because I custom painted him into Generation 2 G-Axis. Oh, cool. Yeah, someone oh. pointed out that Studio Series Blitzwing looked a lot like G-Axis did from the Generation 2 comic books, and so that inspired me to buy a co get a copy of Blitzwing and custom paint him into G-Axis so that I could have a Voyager class size figure of G-Axis in my Transformers collection. Oh, not wow. Bad. What? I said not bad. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, let me see if I can... Uh, Pull him out. So, in jet mode, G axis, he looks virtually identical, virtually identical to what he did before, because most of the paint job ends up in his robot mode. But like here, yeah. his robot mode feet and his robot mode chest, I painted yellow, and then his robot mode head. See if I can get it to open up. But here, I painted his, I painted his helmet red. So here, tell me if that looks oh, like cool. G axis to you. Kinda. Yeah, mm -hmm. kinda. It kinda. <laughs> yeah. 
so yeah, I turned. So yes, this was the first studio series figure I got was a uh, Bumblebee movie Blitzwing, and I turned him into Geaxis. So yeah, he's Geaxis to me. I've I've been tempted too. I've seen it in the store a few times. Uh, the Bumblebee movie, uh, Starscream, the Tetra Jet. Yeah. It yeah, I saw two copies of that at my Target store the other day. It's a really good figure, that one. It's a really, really mm -hmm. good figure. Yeah. yeah. I don't guys know don't... the studio series figures. There's, there's, I'll be getting the ones from 86 movie, but. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I got all the Wave 1 Studio Series 86 figures. Figures I got half of them from Best Buy's website, and then I got the other half from Amazon. Okay. Yeah. I, I got Hot Rod on clearance. He was available 10% off when I found him at Target, so I only paid uh, $27 for Hot Rod. That's instead. still too much for him. I'm well, sorry. He's I know that's still too much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah I, but, I saw, but I saw when they showed off uh, Kingdom Rodimus Prime, apparently he has the apparently the space in his chest that holds the Matrix. Apparently it can hold the copy of the Matrix that Studio Series Hot Rod comes with. Okay. Yeah, so that's kind of a little uh, link to linking Studio Series Hot Rod with Kingdom Rodimus Prime. Is that the Matrix of leadership that one figure comes packaged with can actually be held in robot mode by the other figure. Cool. Very cool. I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. I could have misread the article, but I thought they said that and that uh, Kingdom Rodimus Prime has the space for a matrix of leadership, but he doesn't actually isn't actually going to come with it. Oh, yeah, right. I, don't know. I had heard that it was supposed to be coming with it, but maybe I heard oh, wrong. Yeah. Maybe I no, I think you no, know, I think you're right, and I heard wrong. But yeah, at any rate, the uh, matrix of leadership that Studio Series Hot Rod comes with it can be stored inside Kingdom Rodimus Prime's chest. Yeah, because uh, when they showed it off at the the Hasbro stream, that they showed it, and it was a slightly different blue. Yeah. Uh, Devlin Miles Mayhem says he started collecting the Studio Series line when they dropped the uh, 86 figures. Yeah. A lot of bad times. Yeah. So it's been confirmed that some of the figures we're getting in Wave 2 of the Studio Series 86 line are a leader class version of Dinobot Slag. We're getting a Voyager class version of Rekgar. And I can't remember what other character is being given a deluxe class deluxe, figure. Uh, Shark to Gun no. Shark to Oh, yeah, Shark to Gun no. Yeah, so we're getting deluxe class sized figures of the Shark to Gun. About the time. I hope we get deluxe class figures of the Insecticons in the Studio Series line. That would I'd be nice. Have, I'd love to finally have deluxe class sized versions of Bombshell, Shrapnel, and Kickback. I mean, I have the three Legends class figures for the Insecticons. I have Kickback. Kickback mm -hmm. took me a long time to finish, though. Kickback took me a long time to get. Five years. Just took me five, five years, years to get. Five years to get Kickback? Wow. Yeah, yeah, five years. When I saw yeah, him in stock, yeah. when I saw him in stock, like online, I was like, okay, I Kickback because he's the only Insecticon left I needed to finish the Prime Wars mm -hmm. <laughs> trilogy Insecticons. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the I longest know, yeah, yeah, the longest time. It, I had a hard time getting. Uh huh. Yeah, the it figure is. I, the Transformers figure, I had the hardest time getting. I started collecting Transformers figures with the Armada line back in two thousand three. Oh, that looks beautiful. <laughs> uh, nice. It wasn't until Christmas last year, Christmas of twenty twenty, I finally got Armada Galvatron. Wow. So it took me 17 years to get Armada Galvatron added to my Transformers collection. Wow. That is that's crazy. Exactly. But it was worth it to finally have have that mold. The thing is, the reason I didn't get wasn't able to get Galvatron back when he was first released was because he was a tank and my parents wouldn't let me play with military toys. They didn't want me to think the idea that warfare is fun. And that people blasting each other with tanks was funny. So they told me that if I bought, bought any tank toys, I'd have to get them myself with my own by earning it with my own allowance. That's awesome. And I actually, yeah, but at, yeah, but I actually saw Armada Galvatron at my local uh, KB Toys store. I don't know how many of you guys remember KB Toys, toys, but 
anyways, I saw Gal I actually saw Armada Galvatron when the Armada line was in full swing back in two thousand three. And by the time I had enough money to go purchase him, he was gone. Oh, that's what happened to me with uh, Rodimus Ucronus. Oh, I yeah. Had, um, it was at my Walmart, and I only live a few blocks away. Mm -hmm. And it was there. I'm like, shit. And I forgot the money at home. I was like, okay, I'm going to tuck it back behind this other stuff. Ran home. By the time I got back, somebody had found it and bought it. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> man. So mad. Yeah. The worst uh, missed opportunity I ever had was Generations Metro Titan Class Metroplex. I saw him at Toys R Us. Didn't have enough money to buy him. Came went back a few weeks later with enough money to buy him. He was sold out, and they never got him oh, back in stock after that. Oh man! And I held on to the money needed to buy him, waiting for him to go back in stock. But nope. Of course. Uh huh. And now today, Metroplex is going for seven hundred plus dollars, brand new in the box. Oh my goodness! Yeah. yeah. Well, it's stupid what some of them can go for now. Mm -hmm. Like uh, the Siege Green Light. Oh yeah, she's oh. super. Uh, she's super rare. I can't find her, but I'm not I gonna got get her. her. <laughs> yeah, I got her too. If I would have known that the price on that figure would have jumped the way it did, I would have bought a bunch and just sat on them. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. I did not feel like those were going to jump like they did. I was like, wow. Well, <laughs> Siege Skywarp, <laughs> Earthrise Dirge and Ramjet. <laughs> Amazon yeah, I don't got those. I, what, what, I, I've, with certain figures, I've learned that you don't want to wait. As soon as you see them up for Peter, you got to get on them. Exactly. That happened to me with uh, seat, with uh, Earthrise, uh, Ironhide, and Prowl. I pre-ordered it the day they came out. Never canceled it, and the day they were released, uh, Amazon sent me my copy, no problem. Yeah. So I successfully managed to get Earthrise, Ironhide, and Prowl. Yeah, same here. But like for the people of Canada, like Dennis, they can't get the freaking cone heads. Exactly. I got all I the cone heads. I mean, because they don't have Target stores up in Canada, so no, thrust, they don't. So I got, thrust I got, I got the exclusive in the states. That was a uh, red. That was a. Uh, Red card. That was taking the pants. Yeah. I got all the cone heads. I got like yeah. Earthrise Thrust. Yeah. What's what's funny is that MGO <laughs> MGO doesn't have Earthrise Thrust and Earthrise Runabout. I've mm -hmm. I've got Thrust I actually bought two copies and I sent Dennis one because I knew that he was gonna have a hell of a time getting it. Yeah. I was super lucky. I got what I personally believe was the very last copy of Dirge and Ramjet from Amazon stock. Oh, really? I got a use. I got a copy that came in a damaged box that Amazon was selling for just forty dollars. I clicked it, bought it, and that was the last copy. Dirge and Ramjet have you sold out. After that. I did. I literally grabbed wow. the only damaged copy that Amazon had, as far as I'm aware of. Did uh, did you uh, see the, the add-on kits from non F for the Dirge and Ramjet? Uh, no, I no, I haven't seen them yet. I don't. Well, I don't they're, I, they're really cool. They got their actually G one weapons. Yeah. Well, my thing with non F Productions is that they don't sell their upgrade kits on any other websites except their own, and I don't really have the financial access to purchase from non F's own website. Oh, it's Dino, nice. Yeah, I've been waiting <laughs> for an official figure for Dino for ten years. Mm -hmm. My goodness. I, I know, I know. There was the uh, the Takara Lost Age Deluxe Class Dino, but that wasn't Dino at all. <laughs> this this is Dino. This is mm. the official Dino. This is the only yeah. Dino you have in your collection. Yeah. If you want to go through a third party Dino, you can get the Alien Attack Barrage or the the uh, the knockoff oversized Dino figure. Um, but as far as I'm concerned, this is my this is my Dino. I, I love yeah. this figure. Absolutely I'll, love be back this. In one, I'll be back in one second, you guys. Uh, please feel free to keep talking with each other. And look at that. You got Ramjet. You got Ramjet. That yeah, these are the weapons, the non-F weapons right here. Ah, that's cool. That's pretty cool. Let me get my overload here. Overload. Overload, Studio Series Overload. Oh, he's a big boy. 
Yeah. He is a big, big boy. I tell you what, that that figure when it's combined is a beefcake. Oh my god. (laughs) He's so goddamn heavy. Yeah, I know. He's very, very heavy. He's he's a big boy. He's a leader class figure, so what we were going to expect. Well, and the weird thing is, is like I I've got Trypticon, which is eleven pounds of plastic, and that one I think combined the uh, uh, Studio Series construction cut. I think they might weigh more. I don't have a scale to weigh them on, but they may weigh more. What? Okay. Mm. It, it definitely feels heavier to me, anyways. Mm. Wow. Mm. Overload was the last uh, Constructicon to be released, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, technically no. If you're going to take a little skipjack. Oh, yeah, skipjack. Uh, looks like I have to take off the enemy scrotum off the overload. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. I just said it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Demonetization no. right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Simmons said it first, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this yeah, has been one of my yeah. So this has been one of my favorite Transformers purchases for the year. Dinobot is a great figure. Oh, that! Oh man, I love that figure so so much. Mm-hmm. That figure yeah. Is a, so I don't know if you guys watched it, but I did a video the other day showing off all of the. Transformers figures released in Wave 2 of the Kingdom line. And it amazes me that in the same way we get a figure that everybody wants versus a figure that that uh, a lot of people criticize. Yeah, yeah I don't I don't know why uh, Ultra Magnus gets a lot of I'm hate. He's actually a really, he's, I know. he's a really well done figure, you know? He's a really I know, I well really, done I, figure. I enjoy him. The main reason Ultra Magnus is getting a lot of uh, controversy and flack is because of this. He his can't hand. hide his robot mode hands in truck mode. Well, I don't really, I don't really mind it. I mean, yes, it's an issue, but it's not a big issue. So I don't really mind the arms, uh, you know, being visible in truck mode. I don't really mind it because I don't display my fingers in alt mode anyway. So yeah, I don't see a reason why you should, you know. Well, same here. A lot yeah. of fans have been saying they'd like to see Optimus Prime done in this Earth style truck cab. But me personally, I hope we get a Delta Magnus repaint in the Selects line. That'd be neat. Okay, that would be cool. Yeah. I've uh, seen a few uh, people on the through a, uh, on a website, they've been posting like repacks. A lot of people have taken like the Siege Ultra Magnus and sticking it in the freaking Earth, or that one. And that here yeah. is. I have yet to even find that Ultra Magnus. Mm-hmm. Yeah, people are trading in Siege Magnus for Kingdom Magnus because he not it's only now hard has, apart. Yeah. Although Kingdom Ultra Magnus does lack one thing that the Siege version had. Uh, the two black laser guns that uh, clipped to his, the side of his shins. He well, I got a set of four. Mm-hmm. Well, truth be told, we never saw uh, Ultra Magnus with those guns in, in G one. No. So, no, and if you actually, and if you actually, but no, and the truth is, if you actually look at the shape of those black guns, they are from the Galaxy, the Cybertron Optimus Prime version of the mold. Cybertron yeah. Optimus Prime did have those laser guns, and they were on his the side of his shins. Because I have the original Cybertron Leader Class Optimus Prime figure. Uh, those laser guns were actually done in gray plastic and they had red stripes painted on them so yeah those black laser guns were intended for the galaxy upgrade a cybertron optimus prime version of the mold yeah and i think uh, they used to give it to everybody so they could keep the price at the 50 dollar price point exactly exactly and um but i don't know if you got so for those of you guys who are ocd about ultra magnus not being able to hide his hide his hands um a good buddy of mine Darth Ravage 07, that's his YouTube channel name, Darth Ravage 07, he did a video showing how you can leave the uh, armor on his arms, rotate them around, and have them hide his hands in nice. truck mode. So yeah, that's a nice fan mode that he came up with, and I'm going to be using it on Kingdom Magnus when I transform into truck mode. So yeah, please go check out Darth Ravage's video on 
uh, hiding Ultra Magnus' hands because it really works. No yeah, mods. You know, the Siege Ultra Magnus reminds me of uh, what is it? Uh, it's one of the uh, old robots in disguise. Robots in disguise. Yeah, that, that that's it. Yeah, because the truck cab on Siege Magnus was dis was based on Robots in Disguise 2001 Ultra Magnus. Which I don't have a problem with, actually. I don't have a problem with that, you know? It looks pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, exactly. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One thing I like about Kingdom Magnus is uh, these right here, his uh, Earth, Earth-styled wheels. Yeah. They actually remolded the wheels, my wow. god. They yeah, actually they're brand new. the wheels. They're brand new. They make it Earth mode. That, I think this is the definitive G1 Ultra Magnus for the, the G1 fans out there because exactly in robot mode, it's totally G1 accurate. I mean, it, it well, looks like... I mean, look at his chest sculpt and then compare it to the Siege version. I've seen a fan mode that makes it look more G1 accurate with the, the his pylons and truck mode should be up on top, not underneath. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right, because the pylons just clip onto the back of his feet, if I'm correct. Yeah, but the original 4A Plus um, in the cartoon, those pylons were up towards the top. Yeah. I'm totally amazed by this figure. That Look at that, a lot of sewer paint on this guy. Man, oh, that's yeah. so gorgeous. Mm -hmm. That's gorgeous. I love the are design those, of this. Are those ladders on his chest? <laughs> it looks like ladders, yeah, it looks like. Yeah. Kind of does. Yeah, or is it just bit. guard railing? Yeah, but pretty cool figure in my opinion. I forgot what which wave it? was this from. It's either I think wave four or five of the studio series line. I think it's either wave eight or wave nine or ten. Either oh, okay. one of those waves. Yeah, like I said, I haven't been following the studio series line, so I'm clueless with uh, what's been released there. <clears throat> I I collected the studio series line since 2018, like nonstop. So, mm -hmm. so I basically collect like almost every uh, studio series figure. Like I'm not sure you can see it, but there we go. Oh yeah, yeah. Look at that. But, yeah. Mhm. Mm so, uh, so for what Dragonfly showed off earlier with a uh, Transformers figures with upgrades, one of I my mean, favorite. I mean, I've only missed, like, for the Studio Series line, I've only missed, like, 12 figures, but that's it, only 12 figures. Other than that, I got the rest, <laughs> so, which is kind of funny, but, um, yeah. yeah, so, for my copy here of uh, Power of the Prime's uh, Predaking, I got two upgrade kits for him. Ah. So, so the first upgrade kit that I got for uh, Predaking, um, it actually, one upgrade kit came with three parts. You get his knuckle spikes, and then it's kind of hard to see, but turning him around, the third piece you get is a proper spinal cord, so his ah. back doesn't have a hollow space anymore. And then oh, nice. when you and then when you transform the Predacons into their individual uh, robot modes, uh, this uh, spinal cord piece for Predaking becomes a missile pod that dive bomb can use. Ooh. But then nice. the second upgrade kit is my. But then the second upgrade kit is even more fantastic because it is this. You guys ready for this? Predaking sword. And it is one sculpted piece. piece. It doesn't quite fit in Predaking's hand too well, but it is pretty awesome. And I actually had to look this up. To find out, but if you look right here on the side of the blade, that is Predaking's name in Cybertronian hieroglyphics sculpted on the blade. Nice. So, yeah, it's basically saying this sword belongs to Predaking. Wow, and think, nice. And the sword itself, I think it might be 15 inches tall. Wow. But yeah, okay. it's pretty long. Yeah, it's yeah. huge. Maybe the, uh, he's overcompensating for something. Mm -hmm. What up, the Transformer Guy 85? How are you doing? Hey, Transformer Guy 85. Hello there. Uh, I don't think I have seen you in a long time. Yeah, I haven't seen you in a long time. But how are you yeah. doing, boy? How are you doing, man? Hope you're doing well. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. I'm just transforming these uh, Studio Series constructed guns to the robot modes mm -hmm. just because for fun. Yeah, so moving my camera around to the side, look at how tall Predaking's sword is. Damn. What? It's two thirds the height that he is. I wonder how that compares to the uh, sword that I have for uh, Volcanicus. I don't know. I don't have that sword. The only other sword I have is the one that uh, was made, that the third party sword that was made for Titan's Return, uh, Fortress Maximus. I've got the one, I think it's the. Uh, it's not Dreamwave, it's. Uh, Perfect Effects. Perfect Effects. Yeah, I got that version too. I, I got both the perfect effects and the Dreamwave, so I don't remember which one it is. It's the one of them's bigger than the other. Yeah, I think Perfect Effect had the bigger sword. What you got both? Wow. You got yeah. both Dragonfly? Wow. Well, because I wanted to have a uh, mix and match the parts to make the ultimate volcanicus. Mm. Oh, okay. I wish I had the upgrade kit, but I, I kind of missed on it, but yeah, whatever. That they just did a reissue uh, pre-order on Big Bad Toy Store, I thought, uh, because hmm. they had that other one that came out, the uh, other version of Volcanicus come out. The not the over <laughs> oversized knockoff version, or was it a reissue? No, it was a reissue, but they added some extra uh, weapons and stuff to the uh, thing. It was some sort of box set that Hasbro did. I don't know what High Towers robot mode looks like to me. It's just like a freaky thing. But I love it. I absolutely love the design. It's so yeah. weird, but I love yeah. it. I, I love remember it. reading years ago on the Transformers Wikipedia that they originally wanted High Towers robot mode to be like some kind of like dog mutant. Yeah. Like a but I love it. I love this design. I I I I'm I'm stuck. I'm very. I'm so happy to have a uh, I high tower figure from Revenge of the Fallen. So, mm -hmm. so happy. Yeah. I remember the reason why I remember the reason why the robot mode designs for the Decepticons and Revenge of the Fallen look look the way they do is because they wanted the Decepticons to look like monsters, and that the yeah. robot modes look like creatures of unknown origin. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they're they're basically that, but. I, I love it, you know, I absolutely love it, but, mm -hmm. yeah. That's pretty lively music. <laughs> yeah. yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> no problem. But, um, oh, yeah, did anybody watch uh, The Falcon and the Winter Soldier? No. No. Oh, dang. But what's the premise of that movie anyway? It's not a movie. It's actually a TV show from the uh, Marvel. You gotta have a, universe. a streaming service. And I'm oh, I thought it was a movie. It. And I saw it being advertised. Yeah, but you should totally watch it if you have seen the the first three America Captain America films. You should totally watch Falcon Winter Soldier because it's very relatable. Yeah, it's so relatable. Yeah, I'd rather put my money into my Transformers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I strictly focus on Transformers. I only deviate from Marvel if the Transformers franchise uh, embraces it. Ha ha. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I like Marvel, but I am not going to pay for a streaming service that I'm going to be watching one show on. It just ain't exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I agree. But yeah, but I mean, it's a good show. It's a really, really great show. But I won't say any spoilers for those of you who haven't seen the series. But if you decide to see the series, cool. If not, then er, you're missing a lot. So yeah. Mm -hmm. but, uh, come to DVD, I might think about buying it. Yeah, uh, Devin, uh, Dragonfly Devin Miles Mayhem has a statement for you. Please stop showing off that dirge. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> He changes. Uh, he changes uh, profile picture too. Oh, mm. okay. Or yeah. does he? Yeah. Or does the he only, have another? The only, yeah. The only version of the uh, Earthrise uh, conehead uh, mold that I don't have is the uh, Select uh, G two uh, Sandstorm. I don't I mean, have that. that I mean, I mean that's just the repaint of Ramjet. So. Yeah, yeah. I have that one. 
Mm -hmm. I've ordered it on a whim. I don't really care for the select figures because they're just basically repaints. It's a repaint. It's a repaint. Uh, it's a line of repaints. And yeah. Re normally repaints for me, I just uh, I, 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 yeah. I don't I don't pay attention to repaints because you know. Uh, do I really want to mess yeah. with these figures again? I don't know. Uh, I'm very guilty. I have like all the Tetra Jets um, and the, the newest one uh, pre-ordered. Oh yeah, I have all the Tetra Jets except for that. Uh, what is it? The Sparkless Seeker. Yeah. Is the name of that Netflix figure. Yeah, I have all the I have all the Tetra Jet Seekers except that one that's be recently being released. I went so. There are no Walmart stores where I live, and so for the last, and so two weeks ago, I went to Walmart for the first time in five years. Wow. There was a five-year gap between my last two Walmart visits. And wow. Okay. Yeah. And when I went to Walmart, the only Netflix figure they had on the shelf was Deep Cover. They sold out of the Centurion drone. Or I mean, uh, no, the the Quintesson drone. I, I don't understand and, why. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't even understand the reason why they, uh, you know, they 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 got deep cover in the Netflix line. I mean, we already got the select deep cover. Why sell him in the Netflix line? We're just believe. exactly. Just, I know, I, especially when he's always been black. It, yeah, it doesn't even make sense. No, and to my knowledge. Yeah. It, and to my knowledge, I don't think Sideswipe was blue in the Diaclone Robots line. I could be wrong, but I don't think there was a blue version of that mold. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, there are, uh, yeah, because there's actually a total of eight Lamborghini Autobots based off the Diaclone mold. Five that, uses. That was extra hot link. Yeah. Yeah, uh, there was. There were five versions of sight. There were five uses of the sight swipe mold and three uses of the Sunstreaker mold. And uh, finally, uh, Takara Tomi and Hasbro have finally given names to all eight of them. Because only three of the eight were turned into Transformers characters back in the, during the Generation One franchise in the 1980s. There was sight swipe, Sunstreaker, and Red Alert. And then the other Diaclone versions, the uh, yellow version of sight swipe became Tiger Track. The black version, deep cover, the police car version, a clampdown, who's the last asked a figure to be released. Nice. No, oh, mix ma mix master, cool. And then on for the Sunstreaker molds, in addition to Sunstreaker, there was also spin out and cordon. Ah, okay. Yeah, so there was a photo got leaked a few days ago that supposedly uh, Clampdown is being released in the Selects line as well. Really? I don't know when. Yeah. What? I wonder when. I wonder when he's going to be released. I don't know because uh, we're getting in the Selects line a uh, retool of Studio Series 86 Scourge as uh, Autobot DevCon. I thought that was just a rumor, though. I, but that's it is just a rumor right now. But I'm I'm just saying I hope it's real because Clampdown is the last uh, Lamborghini Autobot to be given a to be repainted from Siege Sideswipe. Uh, Devlin Miles Mayhem. He says he just bought. Deep cover and all the Sunstreaker, Sunstreaker mold. So he's done with the Lamb Ambo gang. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, there are eight Autobots that have Lamborghinis for an alternate mode. Sideswipe, yeah, Sunstreaker, yeah. Red Alert, Tiger Track, Deep Cover, Clamp Down, Spin Out, and Cordon. Oh, that's Autobots, but you got some Decepticons that are also Lamborghinis as well. The only one that comes to mind to me is Stunticon Breakdown. Yep. Mm-hmm. Ah. Uh, 
Sunstreaker modes. I'm done with the Lambo gang. All right. Well, got them all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, for me, I'm only concerned for Sideswipe and Sunstreaker. That's it. Maybe yeah. Red Alert if I decide to get him. But yeah. But for now, I'm only concerned for Sideswipe and Sunstreaker. The others are just me. Just, just I know. me. Because I'm, I'm yeah. getting tired of seeing the Sideswipe mold uh, getting reused. <laughs> I know. It's become the Combiner Wars dead end. It's like of, it's, of giving me, it's giving me weird flashbacks of these Combiner Wars figures because Combiner Wars, ah, oh, the toy line, the entire toy line is like, ah, oh, repaint after repaint after repaint after repaint. Like, exactly. Ah, oh. uh, like That's after wave three. After wave three, I got so bored. Wave four was like, eh, I don't know. I yes, wave four was Bruticus. I, I was it's not interested. I was like so not interested. So the only G1 e Bruticus I have is the Pocket Toys slash Iron Factory Bruticus. That's the only Bruticus I have that is very G1. Yeah, so. I have both. I, I have both Combiner Wars Bruticus figures, the G1 version and the uh, Generation 2 version. I actually got the Generation 2 uh, box set, uh, Combiner Wars Bruticus. I found it at my local... Uh, uh, Ross Dress for Less store for just $30. All right. Yeah. Yeah, that was one of the best deals on a Transformers figure I've ever gotten. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, because when you divide that price tag, the only figures I actually paid for were uh, Onslaught and the Legends Class Shockwave, and then I got the four Limbots for free technically. Yeah, wow. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah, uh, I need to get the Wave Kingdom Wave Two to look this fast. I need to get them now. Yeah. Well, at least our season easy pass if you already got her in the Earthrise line. Yeah. 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 The yeah. Ariser is the Ariser is still like out of stock, so I'm waiting for a restock for her. Then I can actually get the Wave Two Deluxes, you know, you yeah. know together. So. Yeah, yeah, Ractonite yeah, was the first one I picked up at Target, and then when I went to Walmart a few weeks ago, I found Air Razor and Huffer on sale for just seventeen dollars. I don't understand why people think Ractonite is a female. He's not. No, the only female fossilizer we've gotten is a uh, core class vertebrate. Yeah, I I don't know how uh, Prime versus Prime got that idea that Ractonite and Tricranius are females because I was watching his Tricranius review. And he said, Tricranius is a female. I was like, no, he's not. Uh, no. Tricranius is a male. He's a complete yeah. male. In, it was even mentioned during Hasbro Pulse, during, during that live. That, that, they, they mentioned that Tricranius is a male. They referred mm -hmm. to him as a male, yeah. not, not a female. It was like, okay, where, where like. Like where 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 was the information that you know Recognite was a female? No 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 no. Only Vertebrae is a female. Yeah, That's this the is the first thing. I've heard of it. You you saying it right now, JJ Prime? That's the first I've ever heard of that confusion. Yeah, I was like, eh, how does yeah. Recognite's robot mode look like a female? The head, <laughs> it doesn't. The head, it doesn't. It looks too bulky to be a female. Yeah, I mean Vertebrae. Even though she's a core class figure, her robot mode. I mean. Even at that size, her robot mode barely looks like it has female proportions, Compa yeah. especially compared to the other core class Transformers figures, even Rat Trap. Yeah, but you know Rat Trap is a male. But, oh, but, yeah. But for Vertebrae, is a complete female. So. Mm -hmm. well, just like there's been confusion on whether or not Ares is male or female. To me, she's always been a she. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've been watching Beast Wars all along, and Ares is a female. Like, Really, yeah, doesn't even look like a male, it's <laughs> not at not, all. Even and, and her, even her voice, her voice actress. I mean, come on, yeah, it's crazy. So confused, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I think the main, yeah, well, the main reason that they decided to make Air Razor a female transformer for the Beast Wars series is because they wanted at least one female character to be on both sides of the battlefield after they decided to make Black Arachne a, a female character. I mean, if you can see, like, in Air, Air Razor's mouth, you can see lips. You can, oh, yeah. You can, you can literally see lips. I was like, okay, 
you can't see lips yeah. on the female on a male character. No, 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 no. You can't. No. You, well, but <laughs> but the thing, but the key difference is that even though she does have prominent lips, her lips are a different color compared to the rest of her face. So it looks like she. It looks like she's wearing lipstick. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. There are a handful of male Transformers characters that have uh, big lips on them, like Overlord. Oh, yeah. I mean, him, yeah. Yeah, they, like, have big lips, but, like, for female Transformers characters, they uh, make their make it look like they... They always make it look like they're wearing lipstick. It's like, even in Transformers Animated, that's what I noticed about the animated version of Black Arachnia was her lips were a different color than the rest of her face, making it look like she was wearing lipstick on her lips. Rampage. What a nice. oh, right. yeah. Cool. Yeah, I love this figure. Don't get me wrong. I love this figure. Now, I never got the original Deluxe Rampage, but it didn't look that screen accurate. So this one is my go-to. Yeah. This I one got is go yeah, I got both versions of the original Revenge of the Fallen Deluxe Rampage, both the uh, yellow yeah. and the extremely hard to find red version. Wow, nice. It's hard to find the red version by you? Yeah, at least in my area, Red Rampage was a rare figure to have. The only copy I own is the only one I ever saw when it was in stores. Yeah, we had them sitting collecting dust here forever. The red version of Revenge of the Fallen Rampage, not the yellow yes. version? Oh, I never heard of that. Wow. Well, my Walmart, they'll have stuff set on the shelf for months. We had seed <laughs> stuff on the shelves still when they were petering out Earthrise. Mm. What? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, creation Matrix. Earthrise figures at oh, my Walmart. Hi there, I creation to, Matrix. I would have come to buy them. Yeah. The rarest. Okay, so uh, uh, this is a true story. The, uh, I guess, back or rarest back order Transformers figure I ever saw, and I wish I'd had the money to buy it when I saw it. I saw when the Combiner Wars line in 2015 was going on. I saw at my local Rite Aid pharmacy store, Universe Sunstreaker, one day. He was released in 2008. I saw him seven years later. Wow. After his release on the sh on a shelf, I thought I was seeing things. I had to slap myself in the face. Yeah, well, there's been times where, like there was a figure that I bought that was I ordered it from overseas because mm -hmm. oh, it was supposed to be a Japan exclusive, not supposed to come to the United States. So I wound up paying like 120 dollars for the figure, mm -hmm. and about eight months later, it's on the store shelves here. I was yeah. pissed. Mm -hmm. Well, it that's what happened in the yeah. Well, that's what happened in the Combiner Wars line when Hasbro decided to release a uh, Slingshot, Wild Rider, and Deluxe Class Groove. That's what I'm saying. That's what happened with Groove with me. Mm -hmm. I was pissed. Uh huh. Because I spent 120 dollars on the damn thing, and mm -hmm. I, I'm looking at it. It's like 18 dollars on the shelf. And, Oh, I, I, I was so angry I could spit fire. I just I walked away from that aisle for like a week. I was uh, like, I could go back. <laughs> yeah, that was the real shocker was when Hasbro released those figures. And then they released Space Shuttle Blast Off yeah. in 2018 to end the Prime Wars trilogy. I was like, dang, I feel sorry for everyone who spent 100 plus dollars getting... Bruticus to get the Space Shuttle Blast Off, and now that was my and, on top, and to top it all off, the Hasbro release of Space Shuttle Blast Off has the more G1 accurate paint job than Takara Tomy's version. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I never got that one. I never got that Blast Off figure that turns into a Space Shuttle because I don't have these uh, the, the Bruticus bots, so I don't uh -huh. see and uh, yeah. Yeah, I got the I got the special version. Yeah, I got the special version of Blast Off, and then since I got the uh, Combiner Wars G two Bruticus, I went and bought a second copy of Blast Off and painted him in 
his G2 colors. Nice. So look at this. Yeah. I painted him Looks white, good. and then I put the purple camouflage splotches on him. Looks good. Yeah. And and for good measure, I painted the cockpit uh, black. The windows. See, I wound up having uh, both Bruticuses because I wanted to have the... I had bought all the uh, Combiner Wars one, and then they showed off the the Unite Warriors, so I bought that one. And then when they announced the the shuttle one that was more cartoon accurate color wise, just the shuttle by itself, I'm like okay, I'm gonna sell off the Unite Warriors one, and then when the other thing comes out, I'll buy it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the but only that was the, uh, that was the uh, that was the Toys R Us exclusive version. Oh, here I think it was Amazon. Yeah, it was Amazon. Hmm, for me, it's a Toys R Us exclusive. You don't have Toys R Us anymore. You, you're terrible. <laughs> <laughs> no, my, my, my country still has Toys R Us. That's why. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What was I going to say? Hey, come on, train of thought. Don't derail on me now. What was it? Come on, come on. I was lost it. it. No, what I was going to say was uh, for the uh, Japanese exclusive Transformers, that was it. Uh, the only big, the, there are some figures that were released by Jakar Tomi that were unique that weren't, weren't released by Hasbro. But of the Combaticons, the version that's the most elusive to get is the uh, version of Vortex that was released by Takara Tomi because the Unite Warriors version of Vortex has four helicopter blades, and the Hasbro version only has two. When I sold off my Unite Warriors Devast or not Devastator, but my Unite Warriors Bruticus, I kept that Vortex. Mm -hmm. I was like, I don't care. I'll sell them off individually, but I'm keeping this Vortex. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's Alpha Bravo. It's literally Alpha Bravo in a different color. Exactly. Pretty much. Yeah, same thing with Blades. That was the problem with the Combiner Wars line. They figured, okay, this mold it works here, it works there, so why not? <laughs> I mean, it's a helicopter, so kind of does work. I mean, with the uh, new head sculpt, it kind of does work, but still, Alpha Bravo. It's still Alpha Bravo. I don't yeah. know. Uh, I, mean, I, got, I mean, I got Blades just to, you know, complete de defense or, you know... Yeah. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> so, the the yeah. only Combiner Wars figures I think I did not pick up because they were sold as a box set was the uh, Computron. Oh, mm. oh yeah. I, I, I really love Computron. Computron. Yeah. That was before I was buying a lot online. Now I'm buying more online than I ever have. Yeah. Uh, Devil and Miles Mayhem says he never... But to him, it never made sense that Blastoff was a space shuttle, and he actually prefers the original look. Combiner Wars Whoa. Uh, version. Whoa, 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 whoa. Blastoff was a, he was a space shuttle since G1. I know, but I, the, I, but the point that he's trying to get it is that the space shuttle was the only uh, Combaticon that wasn't actually a combat vehicle. Uh, you can see that from a military vehicle standpoint, because the space shuttle wasn't actually built for combat, it was built for space exploration. Hmm. But on that note, I actually saw some Transformers fans when Hasbro released the space shuttle version of Blastoff. Uh, some Transformers collectors said that they were going to call the fighter jet version of him uh, Takeoff and make it a new character. So there I've done that with my fighter jet Blastoff since then. I've slapped the name Takeoff on him. That that I think that's not a bad idea. I might steal that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Cause I, I've got that I've got that blast off as well, but I yeah. have my uh, uh, star scream. Yeah. But yeah, that's what I did with the fighter jet version of uh, blast off. I slapped the name takeoff on him and made him a separate character. You know, like the spare Combaticon. Yeah. Like Alpha Bravo is a spare aerial bot. Yeah. Uh, off roads the spare Stunticon. Uh. Okay. uh my combining uh, star screen now I put uh, both the uh, uh, both the extra uh, 
ones that they had, they had one for Bruticus, and then they had the one for Metasaur. Both of them are yeah. there. And then they had the two uh, other jets that combined into one weird-looking jet. I can't... Yeah, that, those are uh, Dreadwind and Darkwing. Yeah, it's getting late here. It's almost 1 a.m., so my brain ain't quite working anymore. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, I actually made complete on the Combiner yeah. Wars line. I own every Combiner Wars figure that was released now. I did pass off on one originally. I didn't get the individually released uh, Scattershot figure before, but then... I bought it last year so that I could. Uh, I bought it for the laser gun to give to Abominus, since he didn't actually come with a large laser gun weapon. Yeah, I made the mistake. I had the uh, add-on kit for Abominus, but I thought it was junk. And then I seen somebody did a mod with it, and I'm now kicking myself that I got rid of it mm. because it didn't look good on the figure. I thought it was trash. Mm -hmm. The gun was great. I was like, the gun's awesome, but I, I'm not gonna keep the gun and sell the rest. I just go. Mm -hmm. I was so disappointed. I just said to hell with it, get rid of it all. Somebody did a mod where you could just plug it on the chest, and you didn't need to put the other head on there. I'm like, well, psh, I wish that I would have seen that before I got rid of it. Oh yeah, that definitely would have been a decider. But if I reach up, if I reach over here, so. So what I did with my copy of Abominus was was uh, this. Getting back over here. So, okay, guys. I, um, yes, I'm going to go. Yes, so I got Combiner Wars Scattershot to give Abominus a proper sized uh, laser gun. Uh, and one thing nice. I've always done with Abominus since I bought him, something I've surprisingly seen very few people do, I actually flipped his feet around so the toes are now the heel spurs and then the heel spurs are now actually the toes the spare combiner hands actually that'll look too bad yeah i felt the uh spikes like the spiked toes it made him look more monstrous in robot mode so that's how i display abominus's feet not accurate though no it's not accurate but <laughs> But for it's not me, accurate, I, but you can admit it don't look bad. No, I mean it doesn't look that bad, but pref I prefer rotating it around so the proper toes. Yeah, yeah. that's how it looked in the cartoon. So yeah, that was one of the rare moments where I felt G1 accuracy uh, didn't work as well as the uh, fan mods did. Yeah. Well, it's getting late for me too, guys. So I think we'll. Yeah, I need to have my lunch. <laughs> I need to have my lunch. So. Yeah. Right. Right there, dang. Yeah. Yeah, it's lunchtime here. <laughs> Bedtime <laughs> here, 1 a.m. Bedtime here as well. Wow. Yeah. But thank you, okay, so guys. Thank you guys all for stopping by in the live stream chat. Devlin Miles Mayhem. Hey, no problem, May. man. No problem. Matrix, uh, who else stopped by? Dragonfly, thank you. JJ Prime, thank you for joining. De Devlin uh, Miles Mayhem. Right. Yeah, Ninja Bill 1000. He was here earlier. Thank you, Ninja Bill, for joining I need, us. I probably need to subscribe to Devlin Miles Mayhem. Does he have a YouTube mm -hmm. channel? Uh, yeah, and Wildfire Productions, he was here earlier. Thank you guys all oh, so right. much. So, and uh, Mr. Transformers Mash, and uh, forgot where he was. Uh, someone else in the live stream chat, uh, and I, I lost him, but yeah, thank you guys for all well, stop by. Thank you, JJ Prime and Dragonfly, for stopping by and joining me tonight. I Right, so guys, there'll be links down in the video description, description to Ninja Bill's channel, JJ Prime's channel, and Dragonfly's channel since they were nice mm -hmm. enough to join me tonight. All right, so thank you guys all once again, and peace to you guys. And if you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe. Bring the bell icon for notification. Mm -hmm. And until next time, you guys, we are signing off. Transform and roll out. JJ Prime. Transform and roll out. Peace out. Peace out, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>